So dear friends, today I am on this one of the best free AI tool. Yes, this is free forever and it is Research Rabbit. And you have to either sign up if you are not already have an account, sign up with your Google, Apple or email and then you have to log in. Once you log in, you will land here on this page. Now here are multiple options. Either you will create a new collection, I will either create a new category or you can import a whole collection from Zotero. Say for example, you collected a bunch of papers in your Zotero library and you can just collect, it could be three papers, five papers, the three or four papers, or sometimes two papers on a topic you are uh, doing a research now and you can just collect it from Zotero and find the more uh, related papers immediately. How? I will just show you this one example of Zotero. Click on Zotero. Oh, so I have a lot of uh, collections in my Zotero. They just open and just say, for example, uh, I'm bringing this, okay, say for example, I'm giving it a new name that's XYZ, say okay. Now it is just, see, it's a single click, it brought the whole collection from your Zotero here and here are the papers that it brought from your Zotero library. So all these papers were in that Zotero library and it brought here. Now what you can do, if you're uh, unchecking both these columns, you will only have titles of these papers. If you say comments, you will have some option of commenting. If you say abstract, each paper will have an abstract below it. Now, what you can do with this, see this here on the right side, it is saying similar work. That is means it is showing you thousand more papers related to the papers you just uploaded from Zotero. So this is similar work. Uh, this could be a bunch of potential articles that you will be looking for and it will take weeks. Um, sometime months and days to find those from traditional PubMed and Google Scholar. Then that is an earlier work. Earlier work means the papers or the research uh, projects that were published related to the same subject before these papers that you have just uploaded. You can click it and it will show you on later work. Uh, how much work is done after these work. I have some works up till 2022. So it's showing just related. Then it is showing you the authors uh, there are some 18 uh, papers in that Zotero collection. So it is showing you some 74 authors whose work is in that Zotero collection. And you have 151 more suggested authors whose work is related to the similar work that you can use. You can click on any of these. If you click on this, it will show you uh, those thousand articles and they will be like, and here, this is, here, this is called as the literature mapping that it is showing you a map of literature here each dot is a paper actually if you click one of those see it is showing the name of the principal author and the year another paper another paper there are multiple papers the dots that are bigger these are actually the high impact uh, paper that have more citations and those they have little, uh, less citations then it is also showing you that years those in 2023 those from 2011 and just like this and from these thousand paper it is showing you the suggested authors the different authors and other link content xyz i'm not interested in thousand papers say for example you wish to see the background of the same work you can go to the earlier work there are nine papers Again, this is the map of those nine papers. You can download this map from here, this option. Or you wish to see all these uh, papers. Say, for example, uh, I wish to select this paper. These are the name of the authors. And what you can do is you can click on this paper and this one paper will be selected. And it is showing the similar work to this one paper. Now, one more thing that you can do with this you can add it to the collection you just created. Say, for example, you like the paper, you collect your collection that you created here. You can add to another collection. Once you select a lot of paper uh, here in Research Rabbit, you can hear this export option. You can export as a CSV in Excel or you can export as a recent web text file. And again, you can put it into your Mendeley, EndLaw, EndNote, Zotero, anything. Now, one more thing that I would like to show you here that this was the one way to uh, work with this. And other way to work with is that you can add a paper. Say, for example, you are working on a paper on a topic and you collected one or two articles and you just uh, wish to see another articles. Just click on this add papers and bring the title DOI, PMI, or keywords or title of that paper. I have this one paper, say, for example, this is the one paper that I just related to COVID-19. This is an old paper, risk factors with COVID-19 and etc. What I can do is I can just select its its DOI. I just copy its DOI. This is the one way to find. Paste it here and add directly. 
and this will aid this paper here see for example the paper is added to your i'll go to this my collection and this collection has got all the papers that i added so for example i am deleting this from here uh, you can delete it from here once you delete it now i am creating another say for example double z collection collection is created you can manually add the dui of one of the papers and once you this one paper see the same paper is added here and once i add this paper i have got similar work all references of that one paper all citations so this paper had 97 uh, citations since the publications and authors and everything i can do is say for example i'm opening the all the references of that paper are all the citation obviously citation papers would have been published after this one and opening all this once you click on this all 97 papers are here and this is a literature map of those 19 papers that you can upload from here say for example i wish all those papers for literary study you can export them as a csv or a bib text you can open them as a bib text and once bib text file is downloaded you can directly open that bib text file with your zotero one so say for example i like this paper i selected it and add to in this way i like this paper and just add to your collection and this way you can collect a lot of papers and once you have collected all your related papers you can just click here is your folder and what you can do is you can rename it you can make a duplicate you can delete it you can invite your friends you can add your collaborators from here another option is once you have done this this is the file that you are looking at and all those papers you can export from here either in a csv form or a bib text form once you do is this bib text is opened and once i open this bib text file now see my bib text file that i just downloaded from research rabbit is directly open to this zotero and zotero it is anything so it is actually importing all the papers from research rabbit so this is importing all the this is the list of papers i just with a few clicks brought from your research rabbit to my zotero library that i can use for my research paper I hope that this research rabbit will really help you in your research work. Thank you.